You are watching the most interactive professional wrestling discussion show on the internet. WWE Impact Wrestling. ROH Wrestling. Pro Wrestling at its finest on In The Hot Seat with your host, Ford Miners Project. What's going on, guys, and welcome to this week's episode for In the Hot Seat. Of course, as always, got a great show lined up for you guys, and this is for the Q&A and answering you guys' questions. And, of course, I got a lot of great questions here. I'm going to kick things off with the first one, and I'm here, joined by the voice of In the Hot Seat, Simon Aki HD, and what's going on, man? Well, not much, man. Just recovering from a crazy mark out last Monday. Oh, yeah, we'll be definitely talking about that later on in the show, but with the first question that I do have here... And that is from the most extreme wrestling, and that is, what would, what would it happen if HBK and Triple H went to WCW to join up with the rest of the clique in 1997? I personally don't think that that's, that that's even, you know, it, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't, it doesn't, it's not even important to speculate on that because they've never wanted to go there, you know, they, they, it wasn't about money at the time, it was about, you know, WWE, it was the, the, the dedication to, to the company and being loyal to Vince McMahon, that's what, they, that's what they did back then, and, you know, if you watch any WCW, WWE, WWF, Monday Night Wars type related DVDs, you'll know that. Yeah, and I don't think they really would have went over there, I don't really see that happening if they even did that. And I don't think they would have as big as an impact if they went to WCW and with the impact that they have now in the WWE. So I don't really see that happening even if they did. So I guess it would have been pretty cool and they could have done some interesting stuff there. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. But uh, I guess they could have done some stuff over there. But I think that's good that they didn't go to WCW and stay with the WWE. So I'm happy with that. Can you imagine if HBK and Triple H would have went there? Oh, wow. And WWE would have had those two. Uh, first of all, they would have stayed in WCW. WCW would have went out of business. Mm-hmm. WWE would probably be out of business by that time. Yeah, who knows? Probably. The, the business would be completely different without oh, yeah. guys that, like Triple H and HBK. They had mm-hmm. you know, a huge impact during the Attitude Era. Oh, Triple yeah, no H. doubt. Yeah. All right. The next set of questions come from Team Rare. And what WWE superstars would you like to meet very soon uh, in the near future? Everyone. <laughs> Anyone in particular that you haven't met already? I haven't met anybody from WWE, unfortunately. But uh, mm. um, at least not that I think so. But, um, you know, uh, Randy, Randy Orton, I'm a huge fan of his. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I would meet everybody. I would meet everyone. You yeah. know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, I, I would like to have a 10 minute conversation, sit down conversation with Vince McMahon. Oh, wow. That shit would be interesting. Yeah, it would. To me, just about almost everyone, yeah, same here for me. I uh, definitely Christian guys like that, The Rock, uh, Brock Lesnar, that would be fucking cool. Uh, so, yeah, those are just some of the people that I would like to meet as of right now. Uh, next question that I do have here, and with SummerSlam coming back to LA again, what are your thoughts on that? Do you think it's a good move that SummerSlam is still in LA for, uh, I think that's maybe, what, the third time this year? Fourth uh, time. Fourth time, yeah. So what are your thoughts on that? I think it's a good move. I think it's a, you know, it's in Hollywood, and I love it. And I personally, you know, think that Survivor Series should be in New York City and Madison Square Garden the mm-hmm. same way that the... That the that the summer is in the in Los Angeles uh, every year. Yeah, yeah. I don't really it's mind it too much. And uh, if they had Survivor Series every year in New York City, that would been cool. Of course, I would have liked to gone to the recent Survivor Series, but I kind of got screwed on that one since tickets sold out in less than what maybe seven minutes. So that would have been cool if they brought it back uh, this year. So you know, it is what it is. So. Uh, SummerSlam in LA, they had had some good pay per views there, so I haven't really had any problems with that. MSG screwed David Barrera. <laughs> yes, they did. 
Um, uh, anyway, continuing on with the questions here, and what would you say is your best year in WWE from 2002 all the way into 2012 this year? Because I would have said 2001, obviously, but that's not a part of the choices. Uh, I would probably go with from 2002 until 2011. To this year. This year. Well, yes. 2012 so far is a fucking crazy ass year. Oh, yeah. No, um, yeah. I would probably go with 2003, because that was a good year, 2002 as well. But, the, mm-hmm. you know, I think from, uh, from 2000. From late 2005, I think when John Cena went from from SmackDown to Raw, Batista went from Raw to SmackDown, things went down a little bit until like early 2008, because 2007, you know, mm-hmm. the whole Chris Benoit thing and the, yeah. the business was kind of like in a in a funk. Mm-hmm. But the, you know, it's a uh, it's hard to say. Mm-hmm. Probably revenue. I would love to hear the revenue for. Like, uh, if I, for those years, I, would, I could probably judge from that. But, yeah. uh, you know, just, just on the product, product-wise, I would probably go with the... So far this year, man, product-wise, it's crazy. And they're making a lot of money, which is good. Yeah. To me, I will have to go with 2002, since that's the year yeah. when I started getting into really more with wrestling. And that was the transition over into WWE. I thought we had a great roster that year and everything. So, things in 2002 were really great. A lot of good pay-per-views I enjoyed over that year, so definitely 2002 by far from 2002-2012 with me. And uh, next question that I do have here, if Dixie Carter sold TNA to you, what would you do with the company and your thoughts? I would give it back to her. Nobody gives a fuck about that piece of junk shit. <laughs> well, I don't blame you with that, but with me... No, seriously? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Uh, I, I, I could probably do something with that with that company, but mm-hmm. uh, you know, yeah, if you if you read the news online, you probably saw that uh, Scott Stein has been let go from uh, from TNA over the past month, and obviously I yeah. met him last October, and he's been mm-hmm. going on this Twitter rant, saying mm-hmm. stuff, you know, and it's it's crazy because there's many many people who've been who are out of TNA, and ever since they've been out of TNA, they keep saying, you know. Hogan and Bischoff are doing the exact same shit that they were doing in WCW, and y'all know where WCW went. Yep. So, it, you know, the, the TNA is, uh, when they look at the long run of the company, it, it seems like it's fixed to fail. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And they can have the big name, they can have Jeff Hardy, they can have Kurt Angle, but, you know, a Kurt Angle in TNA is not even as strong as the the lowest, like, fucking St. Tino Morella in WWE is more irrelevant, you know, on yeah, SmackDown sad. as the U.S. champion that Kurt Angle is in TNA as the world champion. So mm-hmm. it's unfortunate, you know, when you take a look at the star power and how big Jeff Hardy was yeah. when he was in the WWE, and you take a look at how he is in TNA, it's not the same guy without the, without the WWE, you know, uh, mer- merchandising fucking the, the, the madness and how good the WWE can promote somebody and make it a star mm-hmm. it's just it's crazy how much you know it, it's completely different when uh, somebody who thinks he's a star yeah. go from the to tna and hands up not being that much of a big star mm-hmm. if i could do something with tna if i would get if i would get it i would try to fix things and probably focus on guys like aj style yep more joe cesarian christopher daniels those are the guys that are uh, main eventing house show while jeff hardy is sitting at his house anyway so mm-hmm. Yeah, it's crazy how things are with that company and everything. And things could be a lot more better, especially with the amount of roster that they have and star power, pretty much. So, uh, some of the things that I would change, maybe some of the champions. I don't have a problem with Bobby Roode. I think he's doing good as a champion. Um, Austin Aries, that's fine. I like him as a champion and as well with the tag team champions. So, with the other championships, I probably would change around and uh, do something with them and make them more relevant again. So I would change that. Um, just add more storylines and all that stuff and make them more better and have everybody on the roster at least do something, and I think that would be uh, a little bit more better for TNA if they were to get more. eventually Austin Aries is going to be able to go in the main event. Well, it comes to mm-hmm. the tag team division, uh, I personally don't, well, not that I don't like 
the team of Man Smith and Samoa Joe. But I just think like mm-hmm. Samoa Joe in 2008, he was the world champ. He can still yeah, the only guy who went into the King of the Mountain match mm-hmm. and gained it the world heavyweight championship there. To me, he deserves way much more than this spot in the tag team division. That guy was undefeated up until he faced Kurt Angle. You know yeah. what I mean? He, he, he was huge. People fought uh, Lockdown 2008, you know, mm-hmm. which is one of the, the most popular TNA pay-per-views by, by race-wise. You know, to see that this Kurt Angle against the whole show, to see Kurt Angle put Joe over. So it's unfortunate to see how much the talents are irrelevant now. You know, mm-hmm. focus on the young guys. That's what we want to see. That's what the WWE are doing. Mm-hmm. They can, they can, you know, show us our uh, the, the veterans, but they can put the emphasis on the young guys. Yeah, and they can show the veterans and have the veterans put the younger guys over. I don't have a problem with that, but they just don't seem to really do that they as much. They just don't know. They yeah. just don't know how to, to, to handle their veterans. They're shoving it down our throats. Yeah, it's Earth great. Earth Hogan is the GM. Are you shitting me? It's yeah. like, you know, you know like, the, the response over Hulk Hogan taking Sting's place as mm-hmm. a GM has been positive. No, it's not. When you go on YouTube and you can take a look at the video, there's more thumbs down than there's thumbs up. Exactly. Are you yeah. shitting me? Nobody cares. Nobody wants to see Hogan as the GM. Yeah. I haven't watched TNA on TV for the past two months just mm-hmm. because I don't think they deserve the ratings. Right. I still watch it on YouTube, but still, I, I don't think they deserve the ratings. Plus, Jersey Shore and MTV is pretty interesting. <laughs> Yeah, I don't blame you with that. And uh, moving along into the third question that we got here, without picking some uh, the same answers for each other, which three divas and knockouts would you take back to your place for a fatal four run? Get the fuck out of that <laughs> Everyone, let's have a fucking beach party. <laughs> All right, for me, uh, the ones that I have, um, of course, Mickey James, Velvet yeah, Sky, yeah, Gail yeah, Kim. <laughs> yeah, big shocker, right? Um, the other ones, like Sana, probably Rosa Mendez and Natalia. That's just me. <laughs> Can't go wrong with that. All right, some Facebook questions that I do have here, and uh, that. Facebook. Facebook. <laughs> All right, that was going into before WrestleMania, actually, with this one. And do you think AJ will turn heel eventually, even though she really didn't at WrestleMania, since that was pretty much the question with that? And what are your thoughts on that with her being? With Daniel Bryan and that whole thing with them. Right before we did this video, I read SmackDown Spoiler. So, nope. <laughs> Alright, so how do you feel about uh, with AJ being with Daniel Bryan and that? Um, let's wait till Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um, eventually, I think AJ might turn heel. I think that would be pretty interesting. <laughs> but, you know, with that happening. That yeah. Yeah, but. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Yeah, but so if it were to happen, I think it would be pretty cool. Yeah, Go ahead. Happen. Yeah. But she got stopped. <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, but anyway, as I was saying, I think that would have been pretty cool. But yeah. I have been enjoying what they have been doing with AJ and Daniel Bryan as being like a, a couple with each other and everything. As yeah. far as them being a power couple, I don't really exactly see that yet, but... If AJ were to turn here, I definitely would have kind of seen that just a little bit. Um, I personally, I don't know if you saw this, but mm-hmm. you know, personally, the, the the relationship between her and Daniel Bryan was great. You know that. Yeah, that, that was great. Going yeah. into WrestleMania, they had a good run, and I thought it was it was great shit. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if you've seen this, but I don't know if you see if you seen some footage of AJ in FCW. In FCW, she's been she she's done some heel promos, and let me tell you that mm-hmm. right now. She is more credible as a heel diva than wow. half the WWE roster right now. Hell, I would personally be more invested into a heel AJ right now mm-hmm. than I would be uh, that I am emo- emotionally invested into Beth Phoenix right now. Wow. That's how good those promos were. Yeah, if you can send me a link to that, I haven't seen AJ as a heel yet. I've seen it worth a little bit in FCW, but I haven't really seen any of her heel work yet. So that would be I'm definitely. Sorry. Alright, sure. And I'll leave a link down below, too, in the description box for everyone else to check that out, too, as well. Uh, going into all right, the... I'm done here. Oh, alright. If you want, try and get him in. Good. what I'm doing right now. John! Yo, you're live on In the Hot Seat. 
Welcome to the show, man. Brock fucking Lesnar is back. Hell yeah. Let's jump to that. <laughs> Alright, since uh, we're talking about Brock Lesnar here, what do you guys thoughts of Brock Lesnar starting off with John, man? Yeah. I was not a, I mean, I, I, I mean, I do. Like, somebody said, I think it was Adam. Okay. Which I said, oh, wait, it was you? It was me. <laughs> well, anyway, somebody told me that Brock Lesnar somewhere and signed a contract. I thought it was an April Fool's joke. I thought they were just fucking around. Ugh. And I'm like, I just fucking completely lost my shit, dude. I just, <laughs> so did I. Twitter.com slash Simon Michael HD, YouTube.com slash Simon Michael HD. All you need to know is there. Holy shit that I'm marked out. I am still recovering from that. I still haven't I have my, my full voice. I haven't either. I'm still some, feeling the effects of Monday. That video is hilarious. <laughs> yeah, yeah it is. it's great. But yeah, I honestly wasn't really expecting Brock Lesnar to return, and once he did, that was fucking crazy, though. It was fucking insane. Yeah, it was. Alright, so, continuing... Yeah, here's a really quick list before we move on yeah, to the next Yeah, sure, no problem. Every day, I wake up, and I think to myself, Brock Lesnar is back in the WWE, mm-hmm. and for some reason... It still feels surreal. I don't know mm. about you guys, but for me, it still feels surreal. I, I think of it, and I'm like, no way he's back until I fucking watch the video again. Yeah. I yeah, know. I think I watched the video Monday probably a hundred times. <laughs> uh, two hundred times. <laughs> <laughs> you can watch it so many times, and it still won't sink in after a while. So, I definitely get that feeling. <laughs> Yeah. He was F5 and fucking John Cena like 90 times. <laughs> I just watched, I just earlier this afternoon, like at 2.30 or something, I watched uh, Backlash 2003, Brock mm-hmm. Lesnar against John Cena. Pretty good match. Yeah, I watched, um, I think it was No Way Out. No Way yeah, Out. Okay. When Eddie won, I think, the title. Oh yeah, 2004, yeah. 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 2000. Yeah, that was great. Alright, uh, continuing on here with the rest of the questions that I do have, and which is your favorite tag team and why? And also, which is your worst tag team and why? And going back to John on this one. The best tag team? Yeah, best tag team and what is your worst tag team? Join the clown and pay <laughs> I would say best tag team, TX. Yeah. All right. Do you um, have... Worst? If you have any. And I I didn't really like the Bushwhackers, so there you go. <laughs> yeah. All right, Simon, your thoughts. You know, for me, the best tag team of all time, I still go with the Legion of Doom. Uh, great tag team. <laughs> what a rush. Uh, you know, great tag team. They've been, I think it's still the only tag team ever in the business won uh, the, the tag team championship everywhere they went. The Dudley Boys, pretty close. But, mm. um, you know, still, uh, fucking the Legion of Doom, man. Mm. Great tag team. Was a good team too. Oh, yeah. yeah but I played a lot of WWE You know, Demolition to be a ripoff of the Legion of Doom. Mm. Actually, it's the other way around. Oh, oh yeah. my bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fi- I think, uh, mm-hmm. Demolition was around like way before they started, I think. And what about mm. the Rockers? What a great tag team. Yeah. Even definitely another great one, too. Fucking drunk today, you know, mm-hmm. he was great back then. Yeah, they had and a lot of good matches. This? What about Edge and Christian? Oh, yeah. I and mean, you saw Edge being inducted in the Hall of Fame last, oh, yeah. last weekend. Edge and Christian, the Dudley Boys, the Hardys. Yeah, the There's list goes on and on. Tag. You see, that's, uh, for me, it's always been a stupid question, because I, mm-hmm. I, I always consider this type of question stupid. Who is your favorite tag team, or who is the mm-hmm. best tag team? Yeah, who it's a is long the best list. Singles wrestler. Who is your favorite singles wrestler? Mm-hmm. Doesn't make sense. There's way too much. You yeah. know, it's like saying who is the best of all time. Yeah. You can have a favorite of all time, but there ain't no best of all time. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, there's so many great tag teams out there, but if I had to pick one, which is really hard to, I'm gonna have to go back again with Edge and Christian. They had a lot of great matches and everything, and they just really did a lot of great stuff and had a lot of great moments, so definitely has to be on that list. And we're wait, stack- wait, wait. You don't consider Mickey James and Brooke Test Mocker as the best tag team of all time? <laughs> I 
maybe not the greatest, but it was pretty cool, I guess, to see that. Right. Just saying. <laughs> All right, moving along here and going into the next question: the personal top five greatest wrestlers of all time. Andy, is in your personal Wait, opinion, down. John, what are your thoughts? Wait, say that again. Sorry, I was typing. Oh, uh, personal opinion on your top five greatest wrestlers of all time and as well, Divas. I'm giving you a lot of job today. <laughs> uh, from, uh, do you want me to start from five or just start with one? It doesn't matter. It's up to you. We'll start with five. Yeah, go uh, ahead. Four, there's four. Number five, I would say Edge. Oh, damn. If I have to pick five, it's definitely Edge. Edge is in there. Yeah. Um, Rock. Course, Shawn Michaels, Triple H. Um, damn, I'm already out of fingers, and I already have more to say. <laughs> Fuck. Um, but if I had to pick number one, it'd be Undertaker. All right, Simon, your thoughts? Okay, let me see here. I'm trying. I have I have this stuck somewhere in my computer, so let me just try to find the HTML. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, so for me, ten or five? It's five. Five if you want to go with 10, that's fine, too. Well, I don't have all day. <laughs> but, uh, number five, The Rock. Number right. four, The Undertaker. Number three, Triple H. <laughs> what? Number four? <laughs> well, Hello? yeah, it's, it's, it's been a little while since I've done that, so let me get this thing back. <laughs> uh, The Rock, number five. Okay. It's favorite, too, which, like, you know, yeah. you can't really tell, but the, it's, it's, Matter of opinion, everybody's different. That's fine. John. <laughs> but, um. Uh, yeah, I know. I'm just joking, too. Uh, number four, I'm gonna go with, uh, with Triple H. Because he's one of my favorites, personally. Uh, number three, The Undertaker. Number two, Shawn Michaels. And number one, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Alright. Yeah, to me, I'm not really gonna go in order with this one, but. Um, gonna have to go with the Rock, of course. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, the Rock is definitely on the list. Christian's on there. Chris Jericho, Stone Cold, Triple H, Edge, and the Undertaker, definitely on my top list. No, no, Eugene. Sorry, Eugene didn't make the cut. All right. Uh, getting into the next set of questions here, and uh, who do you see getting drafted in the twenty twelve ja draft? And do you think the draft is actually gonna still happen this year? John, what do you think? Like <laughs> yeah, like Simon go first. Yeah, go first. All right, Simon, what are your thoughts then? Okay, what's the question? My bad. On the WWE draft, who you see getting drafted this year? I personally think that the uh, holy shit! I actually thought of that earlier, and I don't remember anymore. Um, well, the Miz is definitely going on SmackDown. No doubt about it. Let me just get my fucking list of super fuckers so I can refresh. But, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Miz, no doubt, going back on SmackDown. Man, I think Daniel Bryan should actually stay on SmackDown because he's fresher there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there was rumors of Funk going to SmackDown, which I don't think should be should happen. Um, Del Rio, for some reason, is kind of involved. You know, a lot of people have been since last Monday are like, "Oh, I, I wouldn't care. I would, I wouldn't mind seeing Alberto Rio in a triple threat match at Extreme Rules for the World Title." To my knowledge, Alberto Rio is still on Raw, so I don't know if there's going to be a switch there or whatever, but uh, we'll see. Uh, I would love to see Jack Swagger being sent to SmackDown, so Dolph Ziggler can actually be great, you know, because personally, I feel, like, I feel like for some reason, Jack Swagger's spotlight is holding Dolph Ziggler from being good, you know, yeah. from being what he should be, and that is champion. CM Punk and Brian Wise, you know what I mean? Um, I don't know other than that. Uh, I personally don't think Randy or John Cena is going to make the move again. I think Randy's going to stay on SmackDown, same for, for Cena. Yeah, you know, so right now that's, that's really all I have. All right, John, who do you see getting drafted this year? I say Miz. Hmm. That'll be a good feud, Miz versus Sheamus, world title. Okay. Yeah. Miz is a good, you know, heel. Actually, get rebooted over there. That's he's back. Yeah, he's back, but he got you know pushed to a fucking mid card fucking crap tag team match from WrestleMania. But whatever. I th I personally think a lot of people don't don't mm -hmm. see the fact that in the, you, you know we talked about that before, John. 
I feel like in one show, shit can change. You know what I mean? Yeah, it definitely can. We've seen show, that. Last Monday, that's what I that's what I said when I saw him yeah. there, the way he acted on Go and everything. Mm-hmm. He is back. I am not considering the past two months. He's back. Right. Uh, that's fine. Did anybody see Christian? No, we didn't He's say Christian. Right. He's already on the thing, yeah. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? I said he was those. Maybe they'll go to SmackDown. They're on the Technically, they kind of are on SmackDown. It's so hard to pick who's going on the draft now. Yeah. There's no brand split, really. They both on both yeah. shows. Yeah. What's better than the interesting if you wouldn't go back to Raw? Yeah. That can work, yeah. I feel like with the Miz there, you know, Wade Barrett could be fresh on Raw, right? They didn't even send Dolph Ziggler to SmackDown. I would see, um... Yeah, right. I mean, why not? It'll be different. <laughs> He's been on Raw for like the past, I don't know, seven, <laughs> six years now? Yeah, since, since 2005. 2006, 2005. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's still anyway. Star, you know? Yeah. Maybe uh, Randy Orton will go back to Raw. But it really doesn't matter anymore. There's not really a brand split. Yeah, and I, I was just going to say that too because it really doesn't matter since they keep switching over people back and forth each week. So I don't really see the sense of having the draft as of right now and don't really see anyone getting drafted like the people that you mentioned, which makes sense. So, you know, that's I'm it. Not sure, to I wonder if uh, our shoot and uh, little Jimmy will be split in the draft. <laughs> Could happen. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, continuing things on here, and uh, this is going into like pre WrestleMania here. And uh, do you feel that the Miz. Cody Rhodes is in uh, Raw, I can see that. Yeah, yeah that can happen. Yeah, he's done like, pretty much everything there is to be on SmackDown. I yeah, think too. he's going to be like the next top guy, probably maybe third in line to face Sheamus for the title. I can see that. That'd maybe be a good match. Yeah. Maybe he should have a run for the world title on SmackDown, and then after he's left the Raw. Yeah. Right now, right now. Yeah. Yeah. He could be a good feud with uh, CM Punk, too. Yeah. Alright. A lot of good things happening. Yeah, a lot of good things to look forward to. Alright. Going into, like I mentioned, pre WrestleMania here, and uh, do you feel that the Miz deserves a match at WrestleMania? Do you feel that he deserved that tag team match, so to speak, at WrestleMania? John, what are your thoughts on that? Like I said before, I don't think that Miz deserved to be thrown into a big card, you know, crappy tag team match. Mm. He should have just been in a singles match. I would have rather that. Yeah. Because, like, I don't know. He was the main event last year's WrestleMania. I mean, I know he felt like a third wheel, but still, it was still Miz's fucking, like, coming out of his shell or whatever. It was like the new heel. But yeah. now he's just a motherfucking mid card now. Yeah. Fucked up. Simon, your thoughts? Like I said earlier, I don't consider WrestleMania. WrestleMania is done. Mm-hmm. He's back. Yeah, and you know we've seen this many times before. That they look at look at Batista. He was one in the in the main event, you know, of a, of an early WrestleMania, and the mm-hmm. next year he was facing Umaga in a Raw against SmackDown match. Yeah. It happens a lot because sometimes people because the the main event of WrestleMania twenty seven was that. Was that you know important, and you still remember you you mm-hmm. remember one year after that he was in the main event. That's yeah. why a lot of people are bringing that up, but really it doesn't matter because it happens all the time. Yeah, exactly. And personally, I thought the tag team match was a pretty good tag team match. You know, not really one of my favorites on the card, but you know, it was pretty good. But with the Miz winning that and everything, I thought that was fine, and I'm sure he'll get his chance to become WWE champion sometime this year. And Winning at like a maybe SummerSlam or something like that. So I do see him eventually getting back up in there. And now that John Laurinaitis is in charge and everything. So I think the Miz is going to go back on top on 2012. So I do see that happening. Um, <laughs> all right, going into the next question here. That's going into your thoughts on the Randy Orton Kane feud for WrestleMania 28. And looks like it's going to be continuing going into most likely Extreme Rules. And John, what are your thoughts on that? Well, I don't know. Like, I'm a fan of this feud. It's 
does feel like it was just a little bit forced, but I yeah. feel like it's that being that Kane has just, you know, um, won against Randy Orton, maybe they can make this feud actually mean something instead of just being about a handshake. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but, um, I don't know. Like, maybe Kane or maybe Randy Orton will win an extreme rules now, because that's yeah. what it looks like they're building towards, because they're not going to just have Randy Orton lose and then just go fucking, um, somewhere else and a new feud feels hard to be done. You know what I mean? The feud isn't they'll finish anyway, so Yeah. Yeah. Alright, Simon, you have any more thoughts on this feud so far? Well like I said, I've I've uh, read the SmackDown before, so I definitely think that the, you know this feud's gonna continue towards extreme rules. Mm. Uh the draft is scheduled for the end of April. So in my personal opinion, Randy Orton is gonna be Kane at, mm. at Extreme Rules and he's on the poster of Over the Limit. So expect Randy Orton to be on the post or on, on one of the main events, one of the important match of Over the Limit. Yeah. Yeah, personally I have been enjoying this feud as of late and ever since it started. So I thought the match was good at WrestleMania twenty. I enjoyed it and going into Extreme Rules. Not really too sure what kind of match they're gonna be having, so I'm sure it's gonna be just as good as WrestleMania and everything like that. So uh, I do agree that it should have had uh, been built in a different way besides the handshake and everything. Since they did have matches before too, uh, I believe they had one in 2004, another in 2006 or something like that. No, um, they didn't, they didn't it wasn't 04? Alright, no. I'll have to um, recheck that again. Yeah, I saw that you lucky son of a bitch for getting them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hopefully, um, Brock Lesnar will be there. Is that for next week's show? No, it's June 18th. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm sure he'll probably be there. That would be cool. Alright, uh, going into the final part here, and, uh, going into with The Rock and John Cena, do you think this build-up lives up to the hype, and as well with the match, and how do you feel uh, about the feud and everything like that. Final thoughts on The Rock and John Cena. What are your thoughts on the match and everything like that? And going back over to John. I thought the build was great. Like, I, I like I liked it. I think I was expecting more, though. Like, I think I expected just a little bit, a little more than what we got. But I am happy with what we got, don't get me wrong. Yeah. And the match itself, I think, definitely fucking delivered. It was an amazing match. I just watched it again last night. It was just an amazing match. Like, it's definitely a lot of great storytelling. Overall, really great wrestling. Like, I wasn't expecting it to be that good of a wrestling match. Just personally, I thought it was going to be a lot like, um, match-wise, like Hulk Hogan versus Rock, because, you know, how limited Hulk Hogan is in the ring. So, that's sort of like what I thought it was going to be like. But no, they, they really went at it. It was a fucking amazing match. Like, it was just epic as hell. And it was, I think it was definitely worth it a whole year build. Simon, your thoughts? No doubt about it, definitely worth the one year, the one year build. And love the match, love the atmosphere around the match, the entrance, everything was just fucking awesome. And uh, you know, can't wait to watch. Wasn't a fan of a fucking slow ride, a fucking uh, uh, what do you call it, concert, whatever the fuck. But it depends yeah. on the uh, on your taste in music. No, it yeah. wasn't the music. I liked the song. It was just the performance. I thought it was kind yeah. of. I was watching the girl. I didn't give a fuck about the concert. <laughs> Don't blame you there. But as far as for me with the field and everything and the whole build up towards that, I think it did live up to the hype and everything. And with the match, I thought it was great and definitely one of my favorites of all time. And when Rock did that cross body, I wasn't expecting that. I thought that was great. So. Yeah, me neither. I was like, what the? Fuck yeah. <laughs> I know, I mucked out for that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think he was going to do that. That was really surprising, so. Yeah, I give props. <laughs> yeah, but I... I'm sorry, what was that? I don't know, but I think it's still going to be cool just seeing him in the WWE title picture for the championship. So we'll Rock see. Versus, uh, Rock versus Cena for the title, maybe? Maybe, yeah. That'd be pretty maybe cool. CM Punk. Yeah. Yeah, CM Punk went to back again after that, so I think that would be pretty cool. But I personally think that at WrestleMania 29, uh, we're going to see something along the lines 
They might not even do that. I'm sure we'll get like a promo out of him next week and explain why he came back and everything. That would be cool, yeah. Yeah, I saw that too. Yeah. 
Vince McMahon puts the money out there and it don't die, so I'm happy with the way the UFC is being run. You know, there's a lot of potential opportunities there for pro wrestling. And if they capitalize on that, boy, will the WWE be cool again. Well, yeah. Did you see that fucking reaction, though, when Brock Lesnar came out? I haven't yeah. seen one of those in years. I mean, no, I it was like when The Rock came back, just about. You know what I love about this reaction? Hmm. I love this reaction because of the crowd. You listen to the pop, and you can hear the yay word <laughs> in the reaction. Because everybody's like, that's the first word that comes to mind. It's like, when you hear the, the music, you're like, yay! And it seems like, you know, you can hear the words, like the arena reaction yeah, you could. At, at the same time. And yeah. him coming up, and yeah. You know, it wasn't there because it's it's still surreal. But the, you mm-hmm. know, you look at this shit and you're like, man, this actually is back. And you know what that means too, right? Next mm-hmm. year, Hall of Fame inductees, Sable, and Del Rio. Wow. You know? Oh yeah, maybe. Yeah. That's what I'm predicting right now. Sable is the Hall of Fame next year. She can still go too. She was good when she had a little uh, run back in what year it was. I don't remember. Two thousand three. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I can see that. I, I don't want to see her wrestle again, personally, yeah. but, uh, you know, uh, definitely in a Hall of Fame next year. Yeah, that would be yeah. pretty cool to see. Carly, that when you're in this game, I'm sure I'm going to be right. <laughs> <laughs> oh. How are they going to end up Rock, though, right? That's, that's another... Yeah. Know, I don't think but maybe next year. Right now. Yeah. Sure no, I, I know, but I'm just saying, like, mm-hmm. I don't know, he deserves to be in that. Yeah. No, I, yeah, no doubt about that. Opinion, let him fucking wrestle for yeah. as long as he, as he yeah. wants. He's so still I young, too. I have one year deal now with Rock. So, <clears> wrestle, <throat> you know, have him wrestle, have him be there every every three months or whatever. And, you know, when when this WWE run, wrestling run is done, yeah. then think about him. Yeah, I would give that a couple of more years to add him in to the Hall of Fame. Wait. Yeah, at some point. That's yeah, fine. yeah, definitely well deserved too. Who do you think should actually invite the Rock in the Hall of Fame? Oh God. Austin, yeah. Joe, no doubt. That would be interesting to see. I would like to see that. What Cena? Oh fuck. Oh man. No. <laughs> or his family probably. No. Cena can kiss all the ass he wants and say, "I respect Dwayne Johnson." You gotta know he's joking. He was just, he was kissing ass. I, 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 oh, I, I, dude, I felt like that the big time. I've seen it yeah. fucking ten times since last Monday, <laughs> and I do feel like he was kissing ass. Yeah, the he Rock, was. I, the Rock, I was expecting him to say, like, I beat the fucking Birdie Pebble, blah, blah, blah. I mean, it's just, I respect him, whatever, I don't know. Well, see, here's the thing, though. The Rock is leaving. You know, The Rock is done for the WWE for at least... Up until SummerSlam, that would be my prediction for them to mm-hmm. come back around July or whatever. So, in my personal opinion, obviously they're going to have him leave and have them show respect to each other. Because Cena's staying, Rock is bouncing, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like his poop, bouncing. <laughs> <laughs> but he's definitely going to be coming back and doing probably a few more matches. So, that's going to be good in itself. And going back all the way uh, with the match, I do give props to both of them. And they did put off a good match. And, um... Going into the uh, last thing that I do have here, and that is going into the Marine 3. That's right, there's going to be a third movie, and that's going to be with Randy Orton this time, it looks like. So, yeah. What are you guys' thoughts on that? Yeah. What are you guys... Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Simon, you thought? Know, I, just, I, I think it, it, the, the first two movies are crap. Why even bother? Yeah. I don't think they're crap. I, I enjoyed the first crap, two. The first one's good. Yeah. Go ahead. You know, if it wasn't for the Marines, there wouldn't be no yeah. great John C. movie. You know, in my personal opinion, the Marine was good. Yeah. It was not great, but it was good. Right. Yeah, personally, I enjoyed the first two movies, but with the third one, I don't know about that one yet, but I think it's good that. As you say right now, that Randy Orton is not going to be in it, so I didn't hear about that until you guys talked about it. So having him doing a different movie, I think I, that I would be cool. Get this thing done. I, yeah, I mean, sure. Get my, 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 my reaction on what the hell happened. Yeah, no problem. Go ahead. Gary Davis, but mm. Randy Orton has been pulled from the movie because of his military past. Yeah. And from what I hear, there's a lot of people in the in the uh, military that did not like the fact that Randy was. 
because of what she did in the past because of him leaving the movie and all that stuff. Yeah, that I now, saw on the DVD. I understand the fact that you signed a contract for four years. Yeah. And that you are, you know, you signed a contract and all that shit. But let's face the facts here. Mm. With the Marines, shit is way too severe. All right, let's put it that way. Yeah. If somebody realizes that you just like being a Marine or whatever, or being in the, in, in the Army or whatever the fuck you're in, that's fucking severe as that. You know, if, there's a lot of people that ask to be, to, to be, to, to leave the Marine, leave the Army or whatever, and those people refuse and get handed up for those guys committing suicide. So, mm-hmm. I personally don't think Randy realized that he wasn't a fan or he wasn't, you know, that this Army thing was not for him. So yeah. he left. And I think it's a good thing. Mm-hmm. And I think it's completely, you know, stupid for some people of the, of the Marine or some of the Army to come back and say shit like, oh, Randy Orton is a bad guy because he left us hanging and all that shit. Mm-hmm. Let, let's face the fact. You, you know, that Marine that we're speaking, the guy, we, I can't remember his name, but obviously it's the guy that, that, that did the CMD thing that actually talked uh, to, to CMD and it's fucking, for some reason, the guy is, is con- congratulating the WWE or Vince McMahon on pulling the plug on Randy Orton being a Marine, which is completely ridiculous. Yeah. They're, they're acting like, you know, WWE realized that Randy Orton had a military past, so they pulled him out of the Marine. It's not what happened. Don't be all stupid for of Randy Orton's military past. It's years now. They put it on the TV in November. It's not like they just realized that shit. You know, so I mm-hmm. think it's completely ridiculous the way, you know, all that shit is happening. Randy realized he wasn't a fan or liking the Marine thing. He realized it wasn't for him. He mm-hmm. left. He did what he did to, 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 to you know, to, to leave the Army, to leave the Marine or whatever the fuck he was in. Yeah. And he served his, his you know, fucking his 38 days in jail or whatever, or his military jail or whatever the fuck it's called. Yeah. And stayed his duty, you know, and now he's been wrestling. Mm-hmm. And I personally think that they should completely forget about the name, the Marine Tree, and still do that movie. Just, just mm-hmm. edit it a little bit and change the Marine thing. Because those people, mm-hmm. the Marines or whatever the fuck they are that actually, you know, say shit about Randy Orton without realizing who the hell he is. Right. You know, they basically shit on him, and there's no point to it. It's just completely ridiculous. Congratulations, Mr. Marine. You find what you love. You're still in the Marine. You were in the Marine when Randy Orton was in the Marine, mm-hmm. and you're still in there. So obviously, you find what's good for you. On the other hand, Randy didn't. So he yeah. left, and he paid his dues. He fucking, you know, went in jail for what he did. Mm-hmm. Move on. Stop bleeding from your ass, you fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah, but I know that Randy Orton was in, you know, the military and everything pretty much. So just by watching the DVD, so if they do decide to just take that out and do something different with it, it'll be interesting to see what they're gonna do with that. So, uh, personally, the first two movies are fine for me, and I enjoy that. So, uh, we do have the Raz Man in here, and uh, did you want to give your thoughts? If you're here anyway, uh, on the Marine th- Three, and what are your thoughts on that, and the whole movie franchise on the Marine? Yeah. All right. Um, we did. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right. So it's been good to have you here on the show, and some of the things that we did get to talk about, if you want to touch bases on, we did talk about Brock Lesnar going into WrestleMania twenty eight and all that stuff. So if you want to talk about any of that stuff, feel free. If you want to give your thoughts on that. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Okay, great. <laughs> but yeah, it's great to see. Yeah, but it's great to have The Rock and as well Brock Lesnar back. We also have A Train and everyone else pretty much returning on Raw this week. Yeah, so. <laughs> Someone just took a big shot on my show. What the hell? <laughs> Yeah, but um, that's pretty much it. Well, we just touch bases on and everything. Is there guy? Is there anything you guys want to uh touch bases on? Last minute stuff or any shoutouts or whatever have you? Yeah. Did you want to give any thoughts on that since before we go up there here? Yeah. Statistics yeah. come from the hairy ass fat guy. He's <laughs> like a fucking alien. Now he's just this uh, fat fucking, you know, anime story guy. That just doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. I think he looks good. Personally, I think uh, it's good that he's back and with this so new gimmick that he's under, I just want to see how he's going to be doing that, and he just freaking destroyed Alex Riley, so I want to see what he's going to be doing now. It looks like he has a new moveset and everything, and I personally enjoyed him too when he was in the WWE around 2003, 2004, so I think he had a good one then. And uh, Raz, do you have any thoughts on that since uh, H-Man came back? Yeah. Yeah. 
strain now that he went back down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a trillion fucking names, I'll tell you that. But, um... <laughs> yeah, he shaved. <laughs> That's pretty much it that I have time for. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. surprised if they did that. So, Raz, do you have any thoughts on that? I wouldn't be surprised at this point if they do put the tag titles on them. It's just going to have to be something to get used to at this point. So, uh, But anyway, that's pretty much it and all the time that I do have for this week's episode for the Hot Seat Fan Interaction. Uh, for now, until we do the next episode, which will be celebrating six years for me being on YouTube. So be on the lookout for that and hopefully we can get you guys back in the show and is there any shout outs too that you want to give for that matter before we sign off? For any of you. Go ahead.
Yeah. 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 Send us the link and I will add it. Yeah. Yeah, if you can send the link to us and I'll send it on my uh, description box for everyone to, ch to check that out too as well. So, yeah, definitely send that. Alright. Alright, so is there any other shout outs that you guys want to give before we end the thing? I think so. <laughs> Alright, that about does it for this week's episode from the Hot Seat Fan Interaction. Episode number four, we will be back, of course, next time, and that'll be for the month of May, celebrating six years of me being on YouTube, and thanks for okay. sending you guys' questions, having a fun time doing this, and uh, that about does it for this video. Be sure to leave a like and all that good stuff, and until then, I'll talk to you guys later on, or in the hot seat for the next episode. Peace. Don't forget about YouTube. <laughs> pizza boxes. Pizza boxes. Enjoy your pizza box, too.